اول خودم میگم مثلا پویان خردمند I would like to introduce myself in the beginning. My name is Puyan Kharatman. And I've been playing Daska music for about 22 years of my life. I'm going to soon explain to you what Daska music is at all. قبل از اینکه برای این جلسه میخواستم آماده کنم خیلی مطالب تاریخی خیلی مطالبی که شاید خیلی تخصصی میشد رونا داشتم کار میکردم بعد به این نتیجه رسیدم که بهتری که یه مقدار یه نمای کلی از بخش رو بدیم بهتر از اینکه بارد خیلی از جزیات بشیم که شاید اساسا الان به در preparing material for this presentation first I wanted to get into technical details and a lot of things that I later found out that may not make enough sense for this presentation so um, I'm going to get to the, the get to a holistic approach and explain things to make, make better sense for the class I'm sorry I thought I talked a big sentence for you yeah, <laughs> 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 خیلی سریع وارد بحثمون میشیم و اینکه راجع به تاریخ موسیقی ایرانی شروع میکنم صحبت کردن اینکه اساسا شاید حوصله سرور باشه راجع به خیلی سریع راجع به تاریخ موسیقی ایرانی So um, in the beginning uh, very quickly I will start giving a brief explanation about the history of Iranian music I know it could get boring so I'm gonna just touch upon it and pass by از اولین نشون نشونه‌ای که از آثار موسیقی توی ایران کشف شده شروع می‌کنه با سوری پرسون دی یو اسپی دی جی کپی این دی کامپیوتر نو I'm going to start with the very first musical related item that was ever discovered in Iran این تصویر هستش که تقریبا مربوط به 3400 سال پیشه. This uh, is a picture of it. It, go, it dates back to 3400 years ago. This has uh, uh, Chugamish It's called Chugamish carving. که جمعی از اولین هم نوازی و در واقع ما داریم از It shows uh, the very first sign of musicians working together and playing instruments in Iran. And, and this goes back to uh, 2,400 years ago. It depicts um, people making a sacrifice for their own goddess. Well, these are all signs that show us that um, music was um, very common in ancient Iran. در دوره حکامنشیان پیش از اسلام الان در رابطه در اصل در رابطه با تاریخ پیش از اسلام صحبت می‌کنیم. Well, we're now explaining the music before Islam, but around Achaemenid after Achaemenids uh, in the period of Achaemenid. During the uh, Achaemenids uh, period of ruling در نیایش‌های مذهبیشون از آواهای مخصوص خودشون استفاده می‌شد. Uh, in their hymns or religious springs, they had uh, their own music and tune. Uh, in the Achaemenian uh, dynasty, music was used mainly in as war music, as feast music, uh, and Bazmiu, Bazmiu. And religious themes. I will try to make it pass quicker because I, I sense that it could get a little bit boring for you. 
yeah. And uh, it's like that uh, before this, قبل از دوره اسلام ما این نشونه رو داریم ولی بعد از ورود اسلام به ایران ما با مواجهه میشیم به دوران سکوت و سیاه. There are all these signs to show how common music was before Islam, but after Islam entered Iran, there is uh, a century of silence. Because at that time, naturally, they have problems with music. So there were centuries, a couple of centuries, around a couple of centuries of silence, and later in Abbasi uh, dynasty, music started to uh, appear back on the scene. خیلی از آثار آبی میره ولی نوازنده ها موسیقی دانا به طور مخفیانه کارشون ادامه میده. Uh, a lot of the songs, a lot of the tunes uh, went in, uh, extinct, but a lot of the musicians practiced their tune and kept them alive in secrecy. And uh, in an oral form or uh, in a face-to-face -face form, they would teach it to their students to live on. Uh, I don't know what the چند تا نوازنده خیلی معروف داشتیم یکی که معروف ترینشون ابو قادر مراقعی این ایل کانیان دایناستی there were a lot of famous musicians that appeared uh, one of the most famous ones was ابو قادر مراقعی ابو قادر مراقعی در کنار ابو دین محمود شیرازی all of this is name uh, صفی الدین اورموی and ابو نصر فارغ Again, Mahmoud Shirazi. Godbedin Mahmoud Shirazi. Safiuddin Ormavi. Safiuddin Ormavi. If anybody is taking notes, I don't know. Yes. Which is not very easy. Not fun. Okay. 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 I haven't done this in years, so. <laughs> <laughs> قبل از اسلام که نشونه های خیلی خاصی به دست اون نیست که دقیقا به چه صورت بوده بس کتب قبل از اسلام موسیقی که قبل از اسلام بوده آثار مکتوبی به دست اون نیست که بدونیم دقیقا چه نوع موسیقی را میشه فقط از اسمایی که تو کتاب های بعدی اومده بفور اسلام we don't have any written signs or anything left to show us what kind of music or music with what specifications were exactly popular and were being played but ولی از کتبه به جامونده یا در اشعار فارسی در منظومه های شعر میتونیم پیدا بکنیم اسامی گوشه هایی که بوده نواه هایی که بوده و اسم نوازنده ها But uh, it's easy to find the name of the musicians of that time or the kind of گوشه or 
we will explain about it. Mm -hmm. The kind of music that they played and the names of it in Iranian poetry and the history. After Islam, uh, one of the dynasties that came around was Safavid dynasty. which coincided with the Ottoman uh, ruling. Around this time, Iranians tried so hard to get their culture separate and have it live individually from the, Saf uh, from the Safavid dynasty's culture. Um, um, Okay. Uh, and because uh, around that time, the kind of music that musician worked on, which was Magam music, which we will explain about, uh, the musicians of the Ottoman Empire starting adopting this kind of music from Iran of the Safavid dynasty and that's why musicians from Iran started to slowly move towards uh, lands occupied by the Ottoman Empire. Again, this is a disastrous time for music in Iran. But still, music in a secret form uh, goes on in the hearts of people and in their daily life. It also lived in a kind of music called Tazie. I will explain to you what it is. It's a kind of music and acting that go together uh, in the religious mourning ceremonies of Shia Muslims. And this was around the time that Shia Islam became very popular and widespread over Iran. And uh, that's why they wanted to separate the uh, Ottoman system of belief from Iran's Iranians. Uh -huh. Uh, like I told you, so again, this was a disastrous time and time of silence for music until up until Gajar uh, dynasty, which again gives a new life to music. You would find this with different spellings. Some people write it a Q, some people write it with uh, uh, G H. So, I mean, Gajar. There might be a D here too, because it's supposed to sound J. Pass me to Master Sam Begit, Betor Hamzaman, Musiri, Nagomi, the Ajayan, the Nagomi, Iran. So, after Islam, one could easily claim that um, even after Islam, Mogam music was still current all over Iran and was being widely used uh, until Gajar uh, dynasty, which started the Dastgah music. Uh, so. Mugam as what was already there for thousands of years and then 
Gajar brings dust go. دو تا موضوع مهم هست نه موسیقی مقامی نه موسیقی دستگاهی هیچ کدوم آهنگساز یا خالق مشخصی نداره uh, One important thing about both Mogam and Daska kind of music is that in both of them there's no known or particular uh, composer ولی به طور مشخص برای موسیقی دستگاهی اولی کسی که میاد نقمات و ملودی ها و آهنگ هایی که از قدیم بوده اینا رو منظم میکنه دسته بندی میکنه But something particularly special about Daska music is that uh, at some point someone decides to collect all the tunes, all the melodies and all the songs from all times and, um, and present them with a new, with a new arrangement. و یه جوری مقام های بزرگی که وجود داشته رو نه به طور مشخص به تیکه های کچکتر رو به رومان قالب موسیقی های قالب موسیقی های درمیل یا موسیقی های فرم Actually what happens is that they, this person would take all of the long songs in Mugan style and would try to break them down to um, a simpler or shorter uh, musical forms. و الان با این مجموعه بسیار منظم بسیار منظم نمیشه گفت به با یک مجموعه منظمی مواجه هستیم که شکلیش تقریبا بین 150 تا 60 سال پیش رفت گرفت. So now what we have is a rather regulated collection of music whose creation goes back to about 150 years ago only. بسته بندی شما انجامه. I'm talking about the classifications. در صورت که ملودیا وجود داشته. The melodies already existed for a long time. و این موضوع باعث نمیشه که این موسیقی دستگاه و مقامی بخوان همدیگر رو چیز بکنن. هر جفتشون زیست جداگانه خودشونه داره. This creation of Daska does not necessarily interfere with the existence of Mogam. Uh, meaning Daska and Mogam music, although different, they coexist at the same time. حتی موسیقی دستگاهی خیلی از ملودی های مقام هم تا حدی استفاده کرد. Uh, meaning Daska music has, uh, has, has taken advantage of a lot of melodies in Mugam style of music. یک یک خیلی زیاد نمیشه گفت نمیشه گفت کامل از یا نمیشه گفت خیلی زیاد Not very much though. خیلی خست کارنده شد توی میکنم رجوع تاریخ و بوسیقی میذاری <laughs> I think it's rather boring talking about music history, so I'll switch a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, first of all, uh, I want to show the map of Iran. When we talk, actually, uh, I started to... When I read the English, I did my mind started to talk <laughs> خیلی سخته که اساسا راجع موسیقی بگیم موسیقی ایرانی راجع به موسیقی ایرانی به طور مشخص بخوایم صحبت کنیم با یک کلام It's very difficult actually to regard music of Iran as Iranian music it's very hard to relate it to a very uh, to to describe it with one single word Iran بخاطر اینکه ایران از یک نژاد یا یک قوم تشکیل نشده و داره چندین فرهنگ و چندین زبان و هر کدوم موسیقی و فرهنگ خاص خودش رو در این Uh, because Iran is made up of different ethnicities and different races, they all have their own history, background, and culture. Mm -hmm. And one cannot point to a music type and say this is Iranian music. For example. منطقه شمال غربی ما زبونشون آذریه و یا ترکی For example north west region of Iran uh, speaks the language آذری or a form of Turkish و موسیقی مقامی مخصوص خودشون دارن They have their own Mughal music که خیلی در ارتباط با موسیقی جمهوری آذربایجان و حتی ارمنستان و گرجستان و ترکیه And it shares a lot with the music of Azerbaijan, the country of Azerbaijan, Turkey, and Armenia. Uh, in the west of Iran, uh, we have 
Kurdish music with their own language, with, the, with their own costumes, with their own culture, their own instruments. In Khuzestan, it's in west, again next to uh, next to Kurdistan of Iran. Uh, in Khuzestan, what did you do? have their own type of music. It's rather a multicultural province because it has uh, Arab residents for many many years, it has lower residents uh, and it has Farsi speakers or Fars people living there together. و در شمال شرق موسیقی خراسانی که بسیار 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 موسیقی غنی دارن این نورث وست اف ایران وی هاف د خراسانی موسیقی ا ویری ریچ کشور همسایه تاجیکستان افغانستان در تعامل فرهنگی از قدیم داشتن و یه زمانی اصلا یکی بودن اساس ا ایت شیرز ا لات اف ایتس المنتس دی میوزیک اف خراسان شیرز ا لات اف المنتس وذ دی میوزیک اف تاجیکستان افغانستان اند ترکمنستان بیکاز فرام اول تایمز دی کمیونیکیتد very closely, culturally speaking and musically speaking. And in northern region of Khorasan province, this is again a very interesting uh, region because uh, Turkish people, uh, Khorasani people and and Kur Kurdish people live there together. Yeah, of course, it's a very tiny region. Uh, the Kurdish and the Turkish people there are um, uh, are uh, refugees, uh, and uh, the the formal language of the region is still Farsi. و در جنوب شرقی هم موسیقی سیستان داره که متاثر از یعنی زبان بلوچی زبان خاص خودشونو داره فرهنگ خاص خودشونو داره موسیقی خاص این ساوث ایست ریجن اف ایران وی هاف سیستانی سیستان و بلوچستان ولی فرهنگشون باز با هم متفاوت اوکی وی هاف سیستان Music, also the name of this province is Sistan and Baluchistan in Iran. We have Sistan music and uh, the music is influenced by uh, Baluch. The music of Sistan province is mostly influenced by Baluchi music uh, and also the music of Afghanistan. I show with my finger. Bandarabad, Abushe, Bakubistan. And in southern uh, part of Iran, we have Bushehr province, the one in dark blue. Uh, we we covered Khuzestan briefly, the, the 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 region next to the sea, that tiny region next to the sea, and also uh, Hormozgan province or Bandarabas, as Iranians know it, Hormozgan province. Uh, they also uh, have each ha has their their own kind of music, and they're completely different from each other. 
این نوانی که گفته شد حتی شمال هم از خودشو داره ولی Also in uh, north of Iran, there is a music specially uh, uh, known for this region. I'm telling you, maybe not. But if you study more, you can name some of the most famous composers. Some of them, most famous are about in music, music Iranian composers. So as you can see, we 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 have this country with the, uh, all different kinds of. Uh, Music diversity, and when we say music, we cannot with a simple word related to Iran as a whole country. And in major provinces of Iran, or mostly the central ones like Tehran, like Fars province, like Isfahan province, is that the one? Tehran, Shiraz, Isfahan. Shiraz, Kostan, Fars. Tehran, Fars, and Isfahan. The central ones, basically, uh, the music has, uh, although having some influence of Daska music, uh, has developed towards uh, more of some more more of an urban kind of music. <laughs> so now it's time to maybe play some music and de demonstrate things visually, maybe. First of all, we started to show the Khorasan music, and then I will explain about the, uh, the music. So we'll first play the music of Khorasan, and just, just to give you a hint, it's the one in northeast of Iran with a very rich music.
شمال خراسان بود like i said this uh, this is the music of north east of iran uchan mushaffasan uh uchan specifically uchan موسیقی مقامی خراسانی بود Buchan, this is the name of a city. This is Buchani music. Uh, which is goes under the category of Mugam music of Khorasan province. Uh, the person who was playing the instrument was Haj Hussein Yegane. Haj Hussein Yegane. And he was playing the instrument called Dotar. Dotar has Do Do means two. And Tar means the string. And Tar means string. <laughs> So as it is pretty self-explanatory, it has two strings. And the range is an octave and a half. Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> But simple as, a, as simple as it sounds, this instrument creates the most complicated musical forms. Is what they call uh, some of the best dotar players of northeast region of Iran. Uh, one needs to have certain conditions to get this title. Bakhshi, Barsan Tahiri, Yikia, as Mohammedin, Kishagir, the Hamin, Ole, Hodges, and 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 Hodges, so I'm, I'm, what I'm presenting to you right now is part of the research done by Mr. Saeed Tehranizadeh, who himself was a student, a direct student of Haj Hossein Yegane. Bikshu. Uh, bak Bakshi is a Sanskrit word uh, used from old times meaning big shoe. Uh, which, <laughs> uh, which meant a dervish or dervish as they call it in Turkish culture, uh, a poor nun or a monk. Uh, this word, which was not originally Bakshi, it was another Sanskrit word, uh, it first appeared, it was coined in Central Asia, going through Mongolia, uh, Iran, Turkey. Over time, this word has evolved, and once it, it got finally to Iran, it was it was pronounced like Bakshi. So the word uh, uh, blessed with or dedicated in Farsi is Bakshi de. So Bakshi, which is the uh, 
the first syllable or the first couple of syllables of the same word uh, give way to another theory. So some people think that the word bakshi means gifted by God, meaning they have this uh, amazing ability to play a two-string instrument. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, interpreted as this person can uh, communicate with two strings with the instrument and enter maybe a world inside the instrument. It doesn't work like this, that uh, an instrument player calls himself or herself a bakshi. This is what people start to call this person. And has certain conditions the person must have. Uh, first of all, naturally, is being a very uh, masterful player of dotar instrument. Uh, that they can sing very well. Share uh, uh, Share That can write uh, or create poetry. And must be able to sing or write their poetry in three languages of Kurdish, Turkish, and Farsi. Another condition is to be able to make the instrument and uh, tell stories. And unfortunately, because the style of living these days is changing, the number of these people is falling day by day. Uh, I think one could talk about uh, music of Khorasan region for hours, but I think I will cut it short here. Anybody need the word? I will now talk about the music of West region of Iran, Western region of Iran. Uh, the most common instruments there are daf and tambour. We will listen to uh, a piece demonstrating these. Tan.
is he right yeah. that the women playing as well? Yeah, yeah. Together with men. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Is it It has three strings. Two of the strings are tuned together, the lower ones. And uh, the other string plays usually the fifth interval. Uh, it's very, it's a very common instrument in West of Iran, particularly in, particularly in Kermanshah city. It has two different styles, Buran and Sahne. 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 Buran. Sahne. We will now listen to, unfortunately there is no picture, no video available, but we will listen to uh, playing of tambur, guran, tambur by ki? Ali Akbar Moradi. Ali Akbar Moradi. Later, if you're interested, I will tell you how you can have access to all these files. I have a question. What's the difference between a tambour and a saz? For tahe saz, saz turkey, it's a manusha, but tambour chi. Tahe saz, but tambour is like a saz and tambour. As you said, you have one saz, 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 you have one saz. They're completely different. The size of the bowl uh, is different. The length of the neck, uh, the number of the strings, uh, and uh, the sounds of them, completely different. Mm -hmm. uh, 
The the word saz in Farsi actually means instrument in general. But what is generally known as saz internationally, we have an instrument very close to it, but not exactly it. Very close to it, it's called baglama. Baglama. I don't know how they write it. Baglama. Isn't Baglama also Turkish? Baglama Turkish? Baglama, so it's Turkish. Yes, it is. But it is also played in Iran because, as you know, northwest of Iran is occupied by Turkish people. So the music that we heard was from the Kurdish people of Kermanshah. And then there are also the Kurdistan. We will now get to play Daf. In Kurdistan. Kurdistan. So uh, the people in Kermansha and the Kurdistan region who generally have a different belief system, they have a different kind of faith, uh, Al Haqi, is that right? Al Haqi? Al Haqi? Al for example, for instance, uh, they have it, uh, and they use tambour and daf in there uh, as a kind of a um, 
instrument for musical ceremonies or music, musical religious ceremonies that they have, meaning uh, it doesn't create a contrast using instruments in the religious uh, ceremony of this, their religion and their belief system doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, have any contrast with the religion. بریم به سمت موسیقی آذربایجان. نه ما بگیم تو دمیز آذربایجان، نورت وست ایران. که زبانشون آذریه و ترکیه هم حتی گفته میشه این تو خود تو. They speak Azerbaijani or Azeri. Some people regard it as Turkish, but that's where I come from. و سازه که میزنن کپوزه. But some of the instruments that they play, for example, are popuz, or they they call it saz too. It looks very much like banglama. A Cuban sound. Be slightly different. Could be G H or double O. همون داستانی که برای بخشی های خراسان تعریف کردیم مشابهش توی سیستم آذربایجان توی فرهنگ آذربایجان هم وجود داره. The same story that I told you about Bakhshi people, the eminent musicians of the northeast of Iran, the same story goes for here for this region with a different name. که بهشون میگن عاشق و نه تنها تو ایران هست تو آذربایجان جمهوری آذربایجان هست تو ارمنستان هست تو کردستان و ترکیه they have this character called عاشق they and it's not only restricted to Iran the concept of عاشق is present in northwest of Iran in parts of Armenia in Azerbaijan and also in Turkey parts of Turkey We will listen to a kind of Ashik music played by Master by Baki. Hassan Eskandari. Hassan Eskandari. This music is based on the music of the Kurdistan and the music of the Kurdistan. Just like the music of Kurdistan, West of Iran, this music is also based on Mughal style. Century BC. BC. Abbas, Abbas, Milan, Messi. No, no, Abbas. Abbas. Half century. 
سال 700 after Christ so basically 7th century after Christ بر اساس حماسه داد قوقود داد قوقود 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 I'm from that region. I've never heard of this. <laughs> this is interesting information. Or uh, good. The yeah. Music is the same, No, no. But it's the same. How much? میتونیم بفهمیم که این موسیقی از اون دوره بوده چون توی این حماسه بارها از این موسیقی یاد شده حالا توی این This is the earliest source of this kind of music uh, being there it, This is the name of a story, this is a book uh, that this kind of music has been repeatedly mentioned in it فرمای مخصوصی که موسیقی عاشقی رایت میشه There are different forms Girelli In was there are different forms present in Ashad music, for example. Grayly. Grayly. Um, Probably Grayly. Mm -hmm. Ushma. Ushma. Mm -hmm. Tajnis, Bayonti, Badish. Tajnis, your Bayonti? No, no, Badish, Bayonti. Tajnis? Bayonti? Bad, or Persian dish, no. Dish, no. Dish, no. این از این فرم موسیقیشون با بسه به نوع شعری که استفاده میکنن یعنی هر کدوم از اینا شعر مخصوص خودشون رو دارن و وزن اون ملودی هایی که استفاده میکنن و این اساس خیلی تحصیل داره این موسیقی آشقی این So these are the different forms of آشق music There are different categories of آشق music and their difference lies in uh, the different kind of lyrics or poetry that they have meaning the musical sound, the difference uh, between the musical sounds coming out of these comes from the different sounds of the lyrics or the poetry written for it. Usually, uh, Ashik's, Ashik people, uh, the, music, the master musicians, they play in cafes or tea houses. Some own their own tea houses, they play in their own place. Like, for example, uh, Hassan Iskandari, who we just watched. So that's where they mainly play, but they also uh, play in. Uh, weddings or in the get-togethers um, as the people who start a wedding by, by, by playing music. Uh, in Eastern Azerbaijan uh, province of Iran because there are two provinces in Iran Eastern Azerbaijan province and Western Azerbaijan province and Northwest. In Eastern Azerbaijan usually um, Ashiks uh, play they, along with three instruments. There are three instruments played together. One is uh, uh, balabon. Balabon. In a good mm -hmm. Gopus <laughs> 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 also be called Saz or Chogur. Chogur. Mm -hmm. 
Chokur. I'm starting to make a mess again, so. Chokur. <laughs> okay, actually the name is Balaban. The photo that you see up here is Balaban. In Armenia, it's called Duduk. This is Kabal or Kabal. اساسا نمیشه گفت حالا بالابان و یا کابال اینا ساده صد در سری در میاد چون اساسا تاریخ اون منطقه خیلی در هم تنیده از کنم mm هیچه -hmm. دو صد در صد در میمه این خواهد ایرانی mm -hmm. One cannot claim that instruments like Kabal or Balaban or Duduk are Iranian or from other countries like Armenia like we just mentioned because at the time their culture and the borders were not as defined as they are today so they all go to that, that region اگر موضوعی که میخوام راجع به موسیقا آزربایجان بگم اینه که در آزربایجان شهره سه نفر میزه آزربایجان عربی معمولا فقط یک نفر میخونه و میزه همیزه همیزه Last thing to mention about the music of this region in eastern Azerbaijan usually these three instruments are played together uh, in contrast with the western Azerbaijan where one person only plays the opus uh, and sings at the same time. Yeah. Uh, Something I want to add about Dishma form of uh, of uh, Ashet music. Uh, uh, I don't know <laughs> خب یعنی سوال جواب در واقع با شعر درسته؟ میخونه شعر رو نمیگه و اون جواب میده یعنی که من بستگی داره اون ادامه داستان رو باید بگه یا یعنی اینکه اون بیت رو میگه اون امپروواز و اون رو تو فرم شعری که تعریف میکنه دیش وی از ا کایند اف میوزیک ور میوزیشنز تری تو امپروواز and recite some kind of poetry come up with the poetry and recite it meaning one would sing or say uh, a verse and with the ending letter of that verse whatever word or whatever letter that verse ends in the next person must start another verse starting with that one letter and they come up or imp improvise uh, words or uh, musical lyrics like a poetic dialogue. The the And there was this game that played. They played uh, the winner of this dishma or this game of, of uh, musical dialogue had the right to tell the loser that they are not allowed to touch their instrument ever again. So that's hard. Uh, until they were allowed to again by that, by that person and they really respected the rule and they didn't touch their instrument. I can't seem to find a, a good video right now, but I will definitely find it and I will definitely show you. Let's move to music of Boucher, south of Iran. Uh, this province is situated in south of Khuzestan province. So uh, it shares a lot uh, in terms of music. They are very similar. Just to mention, I was born in Boucher. I was uh, I come from Boucher myself. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> که توی موسیقی بوشه تو سه تا بخش خیلی فعاله بخش شادیه 
وقتی بخش جشن و شادی و بعض اون یکی بخش کار ما اینجوری یه بخش دیگه داشت از داری A music of Boucher can be seen in uh, three occasions uh, often. One is in their feasts uh, and in the parties. At work, which is basically, basically fishers, fishermen's job, catching fish, and in mourning. Uh, از روی شیه دیگه؟ محرم؟ 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 For a period of 30 days or 40 days, for that month. Obviously, we're not good Muslims. I'm just going to see what's going on. One of the most famous cinema in Iran is this. I'm going to see what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> this, uh, th what we're going to see is one of the masterpieces of documentation in Iran because around 60 years ago this was documented, documented by Nasser Taqwai. So the music of Boucher uh, has had great influences by African music and Arabian music. Uh, 
فرهنگی خودشون هم با خودشون بیارن و تحکیب بشه و فرهنگی بوشه Because for the last few centuries there have been a lot of refugees and a lot of immigrants for different purposes as asylum or as banishment or for slavery or any other reason or looking for work they've come to, they've gathered in this region of Iran and Naturally, they have brought their culture and their music and patterns of their own country to Iran. And this has made the music of this region particularly rich. The instruments used in this region uh, are as follows. Ney, Hambon, Anbon, Anbon, Ney, Ney Anbon, or Ney, or Ney Jofti, or Yes, Ney Anbon, Ney Jofti, a bit of Anbon, which is Ney Jofti. Yes, I said, Anbon, which is Ney Anbon, which is Yes. Um, I'll find out and then I'll tell you. <laughs> I don't know. These are two instruments or one, so it's the same instrument. Hallelujah. Uh, <laughs> پوست گوسفند رو در میارن دیگه میشه نه جفتی اون کمک میکنه با توری وقتی پوست گوسفند رو در میارن اون خود اون ساز کچکی نه جفتیه اون فلوت اون چیز آها اون فلوت ها نه جفتیه نه جفتیه دو تا نه جفته همه یعنی تو آها اوکی فهمیدم so they make this instrument with the skin of a sheep so the instrument the mouthpiece that you could see in one of these photos, this, this part is called Ne Jofti. The whole thing together with the skin of the sheep makes it Ne Anban. So the mouthpiece, this flute form uh, instrument is Ne Jofti. Mm -hmm. I you will listen to Ney Jofti from Magic from
样吧？那这是那样吧？The music that I introduced, the kinds of music that I just introduced to you from Kurdistan, from Bushehr, Azerbaijan, Khorasan, and so on, they all have their own specific dances. Of course, now we're talking about the music only, but it's very interesting to do a little bit of research about. Now we'll get to Bandar Abbas music. The in Hormozgan province. In Jabas, the Khatenki Nazdi has a parcel of Khuzestan. Bandar Abbas. Bandar Abbas is from Bajistan. The Khatenki Nazdi Daryan, very notable for his Afghani Arab, which is a very important part of his culture. Hormozgan, the blue province, along with uh, Zahedan and Sistan, the purple one, and Boucher, the, the one, the, this one. <laughs> all of them, because they are next to the Gulf, uh, they've all taken, you know, they've had uh, influences from the Arabian music and also from um, uh, African music. Mm -hmm. Arabian. Oh. So, yeah. African, Arabian, and... Uh, African Arabian, that's all. Yeah. Okay. And this is what I was talking about from the music in Iran. I mean, all the music and the music of the music are in Iran. This is what I was talking about. Yeah, of course. You cannot really like draw lines and say this one gets the influence from this region. It kind of works together. Of course, they've had influences from the provinces located above them in the map as well. They have to go to Hormozgan. Hormozgan. In Hormozgan province, they have a a ceremony, a ritual, which is very strange even to me. Zar. Zar. It's called Zar. زار تو لغت به معنی نظار نریز. At the word level, literally it means weak, feeble, yeah weak. و یا یه نوعی موسیقی درمانی برای اون مهر کسی که مریض میشه یا به طب افسانه که دارن. شیطان وارد جنبش شده یا جن جن زده شده یا در سخت کرد. It's some kind of it's known as some kind of a music therapy. It was usually used or is. هنوز هم استفاده میشه الان؟ In small parts. In small parts still in use. It's been known as the kind of music to help exorcists, you know, set demons free from. From the sick people's bodies. Viewers' discretion. This is the sick person, for example, in white. Baba, you're a million doctors. What the hell is it, Mary? یه دکتر بیماری ولی این دکتر 
حتما باید بابای اون از ارز مثل ارز برین باید از باباش ای چی مثلا براش مانده بود دکتر محلی هم بزر حکیم باشی ایجوری به قول معروف خیلی همه جامعه در شد بیده هم چون تو نفس به در نشم نفس خیلی سنگی وقت سال تو دست خود چپ مدر و من از کف خود و سرعت و سبتیله و سرعت تو برای به خبر از اونی وقتی که رید دیگه بکر معروف تو فکر اکنون که خشت شم کرد هیچ چه نفهم چه بوده چه نبوده چه به سرم بوده چه به سرم نبوده بکر معروف چشم من خیلی تا رو نور بینه خیلی خرس بینه وقتی به بابره بیره خیلی لیست رو بکنم زیاد سو بکنم خیلی لیست فکر اتون مفت به خزنی نام ایتو Uh, I forgot to continue. One of the other instruments used in this region is called Dama. Dama, what is it? What is Dama? Damam is a percussion form of instrument. The ones that I'm showing you right now are Damam. And this right here is Sanj. We can imagine that the music is from Pakistan. So we have to see from Pakistan. We have to put it in our hands. 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 We will not talk about Sistan. Uh, Sistan and Baluchistan music in north uh, in south uh, east of Iran. Of course, the name of the province brings these two words together. But Sistan and Baluchistan have two are two different things, and they have two different culture. To enjoy my resume, how the music Darmani does it, which means Govati. They also have some kind of a music therapy. Therapy they call it Govati. Govati. Also a very common music form right now, but every uh, passing day, less and less musicians uh, exist. Uh, 
یعنی که این جمله بالا رانده داره بلافاصله همون جمله پای رانده شده یا همون هی تکرار میشه هی تکرار میشه تکرار این تپو میره بالا یا رزونانس رو بالا Well, something interesting about Gobati music is that it has a lot of uh, symmetrical forms and Tagorona uh, Chiriye? Tekrar. And repetition. But in the end of all, in Tekrar, there is... It has a lot of repetition and a lot of uh, symmetrical form. For example, uh, it's like uh, as asking questions and answering. Like if there's a rising uh, musical pattern, immediately after it's going to be uh, a falling musical pattern. Uh, and the tempo increases as music goes on. <laughs> Uh, the rising uh, of uh, the melody form and the falling was just an example. It's not supposed to be always like that, but this is an example of symmetry, uh, this, this kind of music. Also for non-rhythmic melodies, this applies. In Gobati music, there are usually conversations or dialogues with God, and uh, these kind of dialogues with God are um, unique. They're very simple. Very short. Very uh, easy. And they don't have a very long range of sounds. Actually, very short range of notes. And this melody repeats again and again. In some of the uh, No ones. 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 No و یکی دیگر ساختراش افزایش حجم موسیقیه به معنی این نیستش که یه نمودنده دیگه اضافه میشه استفاده از امکانات سازه هایی بیشتر بیشتر میشه انگار یه شور ایجاد میشه And the volume of the sound increases slowly meaning in, and this doesn't mean that they will uh, have more musicians join them but it means that instrument, in, instrumentalists or the musicians get excited and start playing with vigor و نه همشون ولی بیشتر بر اساس گام پنتاتونیک چی نه همشون چی نه همه موسیقی که توی سیستان برچستان هم مشخصا برچستان محمولا بر اساس گام پنتاتونیک Not all kinds of, but most kinds of uh, music forms in سیستان بلوچستان uh, province are uh, based on pentatonics با هم دیگه یک قطعی از سیستان برچستان میشتنیم We'll listen to a, a a piece from Sistan Balchistan province.
Get a verification code. Sorry. I have a Mustelian Buddha as a Mustelian Spanish shooting sound killer. I don't know. 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 I don't Do you speak that again? No. Music of system, south east. I could finally log in. <laughs> There is symmetry, there is uh, um, this easy flow to the music that at the same time makes it complicated. So I hope I managed to give you a brief explanation about the regional music from different parts of Iran. هنوز به بخش نکردم که مثل موسیقی شمال ایران، گیلان، 
یعنی قرار بپردازیم؟ نه. We skip some parts like for example the music of central Iran or north of Iran. For example the Kerman province. Uh, Kerman province, the green one. Yeah. Or Fars province right there. And Loristan. Uh, the yellow or like amber, or, yeah, that 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 one. Hamjuni ke aval baas kofta. Agar kisi ne dunayi ham et vi ek ishkar asan fir mukani ke har kudu mi ishkar jo ba bunam sar hange mukhtalaf hai. Like I said in the beginning, if someone doesn't know that these regions are part of uh, one whole country, they will think. Hearing the music, they would think that uh, these are these these are music styles of different countries. Especially the furthest to the furthest the further two uh, provinces are located, the more distant their music sounds to the ear. هر استانی که رد میکنید به ترتیب تحصیل و داشتن رو هم میده و یک هارمونی رو هم میده دارن تر میده Although you can find uh, some similarities in, 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 in sense of harmony as you move from uh, the south east province of Iran all the way to the north west so there's a string of similar harmonies that could be uh, extracted که خیلی راحت نمیشه ندید اونقدر بازه نیست ولی به هر حال دیجور it's not very easy to see that, but it does exist. Mm-hmm. So, uh, unlike Europe, one could say that Iran um, um, as some kind of a uh, soil or territory unity, not exactly unity of um, cultures or languages or races. So all of the music uh, that you heard uh, uh, up to this point, uh, they have influenced the Dastga music of Iran, which I'm going to now explain. همطور که گفتم دستگاه مجموع نقمات و ملودی ها و آواز هایی که از گذشته وجود داشته Not I mentioned before, دستگاه is a um, collection or, or um, yeah, is a collection of uh, the tunes, the melodies and the uh, and the singings remaining from old times until now و این دستگاه منشو گفتم معنی دستگاه دست به معنی دست گاه به معنی مکان at the word level دستگاه uh, is made of two words دست and گاه دست meaning hand uh, and گاه meaning the point or the place یعنی جای انگوشت هم روی دست این سال یعنی میشه این برداشت که جای انگوشت which could mean the Placement of the fingers on the neck of an instrument, for example. Uh, this collection, Daska, is made up of how many? There, there are seven different kinds of Daska. And four albums. And four forms. Four, four singing forms. Uh, so uh, like I said, there are seven seven different kinds of 
tasca and there are four different forms uh, that we call singing but when we say singing it's not mere singing but it could also have instruments uh, performing in this style for example uh, and these uh, four singing forms uh, go under the category of shur. Uh, shur itself is a dasko or is a uh, is a form in this collection. Si bemol, si bemol, la Um, I don't know the German words for it, but this is the tuning of it. Si uh, bemol, mi bemol, and uh, sol. La La coron. La coron. Coron is a quad. Uh, the next task is Sega, the, the tuning that you see over here. Uh, I in the D I used to do <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Thank you. 
The tuning of the singing or avaz uh, style is just uh, the same as shur. I will write it up here. Abu Atta. Bayat Tork. Afshari. Afshari and Dashti. You know, the Spanish mission always high Abu Atta, you know, but he saw the. Like you said, these are called singing or avas of the Daska music, but we uh, uh, use also instruments to play in these styles. Can you give us an example of a shura? Sure. But the note is a little different. Not sure. The tone. They are. Uh, they have the same tuning as Shur, but they have a different toning. Um, and although they have the same tuning, but they are uh, very different in nature. For example, Shur itself sounds very sad to the ear, so they have different moods. But
if uh, I talk too much. <laughs> 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 uh, I start to say to you, I want to do it again, I hope that you will be able to do it again. Oh, yeah. He said that uh, I, I would like to say my goodbyes slowly, and I said, don't you want to play sitar, a little bit of that too? <laughs> okay. This is also a uh, sitar. This is called sitar. Setar. Not sitar, but setar. <laughs> That's different. Uh, I'm going to say that it's a two, or yani so dotar like we told you it means two strings and it's got two this is called setar but surprisingly it's got four strings so it used to have three uh, strings uh, but as time goes by, they decided they decided to add one more string to it, but the name stayed the same. <laughs> Since I didn't explain much about Santur, uh, I think I will save explaining about Satar too. <laughs> Somebody sing with me. Who's? Okay,
Thank you for taking the time and listening to my music and listening to my uh, presentation. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you.